This is not just a race. This is a six mile obstacle course covered in mud. Lots and lots of mud. It, it's just a great way to stay fit and to do something fun with your friends and family and uh, gives you a goal to shoot for, to train for, to stay in shape. So I joined hundreds of racers to run, sweat and get dirty. Just in the first mile, runners hop through a wall of tires, hike over a pile of logs and pull their bodies through a shallow, muddy pit. And if that doesn't leave you gasping for breath, try climbing over these hurdles. Yeah! And put your balance to the test on these narrow planks. Warning, it gets slippery. But if you ask these runners about the hardest part, Ooh, the wall, the wall, the wall, yeah, the wall the was wall. definitely the hardest. And I can see why. <laughs> After Shorter the first mile, think. we're like, oh man, we got five more. But that was good. There's so many every, you know, so often you have an obstacle so you can slow down. It's not like you're running full six miles. But mud runners sure do give it their all. Real challenge. But I succeeded. I cannot be beat. I won't be beat. And I can't be beat. So until the end, runners work together to pull each other up and out of the dirt, encouraging each other to keep going. Keep going. You got it. You got it. Even when they felt like slowing down. You got to run a little bit. Because when you get that finish line in sight. I got mud in my eyes. It's time to gut it out. Down through the tunnel. And get through it to that final sprint. Okay. And finally claim that medal and a much needed shower. In Eden, Amanda McKenzie, News 14, Carolina.